Every Friday night, like clockwork, the town bakery transformed. As dusk settled, fairy lights twinkled across the facade, beckoning customers to needful things. Inside, shelves overflowed with pastries that gleamed with an otherworldly sheen. The air hummed with a comforting warmth, and the aroma of cinnamon and sugar danced in the air. Poppy, a baker's apprentice with a mop of fiery red hair and a boundless passion for pastries, loved these Friday nights. Luna, the enigmatic owner, was a woman with laughter lines around her eyes and a secret smile that hinted at magic. Luna taught Poppy more than just how to bake the perfect croissant. She taught her about the subtle art of imbuing treats with joy, a magic that brought smiles to customers' faces. One Friday, a young man with wind-blown blonde hair and eyes the colour of the summer sky stood outside, holding a guitar. He introduced himself as Finn, a travelling musician drawn in by the scent of Luna's magic. Finn's music was like sunshine on a cloudy day. Poppy, usually shy, found herself drawn to his infectious optimism. They spent Friday nights weaving melodies and baking treats, their laughter echoing through the bakery. Luna, a knowing smile playing on her lips, encouraged their budding connection. Together, they experimented with new pastries inspired by Finn's music. A delicate lemon tart, with a bittersweet melody, a flaky cinnamon roll infused with a warm, comforting tune. Each creation captured a feeling, a memory, a touch of magic that transcended the ordinary. The town, initially suspicious of the newcomer, couldn't resist the lure of the bakery's newfound charm. Couples shared bites of moonlit macarons. Teenagers devoured stardust cookies filled with joyful laughter and families savoured the melody muffins that brought back childhood memories. One Friday, as the last notes of Finn's song faded, he looked at Poppy with a shy smile. This feels like home, he confessed. Poppy's heart swelled. Suddenly, Finn placed a worn travel journal on the counter. The cover was adorned with a familiar symbol, a shooting star. You mentioned you were curious about my travels, Finn murmured. Poppy opened the journal, filled with sketches of fantastical creatures and bustling markets in faraway lands. Finn, catching her gaze, chuckled. There's a huge world out there, he whispered. A blush crept up Poppy's cheeks. The magic wasn't just in the bakery, it was in the music, the connection, and the promise of adventure. As Finn took her hand, she realised the bakery held a secret. But it wasn't just the food. It was woven into the very fabric of the Friday night gatherings, a place where dreams, like pastries, could be baked fresh every week. And for the first time, Poppy dared to dream of a world beyond the flower-dusted shelves, a world filled with music, magic, and maybe, just maybe, a sprinkle of love with a travelling musician.